To get the most runway from our ad creatives, we can duplicate an underperforming ad before pausing it forever. When we duplicate an ad, it will trigger a new learning phase in Facebook's algorithm, and sometimes we just need a little bit of luck to get an ad moving. To start, we'll duplicate the pause rule we used in the previous lesson, and we'll give it a more appropriate name. And we can keep the same rule applies to settings, which are set to all active ads. For the action, we'll change it to duplicate. In the action settings, we'll choose to pause the original ad, set the frequency limit to once in a lifetime, and append to the duplicate ad's name space dash space copy one. This all means that when this rule fires, it will pause the ad, duplicate it, and add the text copy one to the end of the ad name. For the conditions, we can keep these just as they are. So now our rule says we'll duplicate ads with the row as of less than one and if purchases are greater than or equal to one during today and yesterday, or if purchases are less than one and we spent more than or equal to $30 during today and yesterday. This rule pauses the original ad it duplicated and adds the text copy one to the end of the ad name. So because we're using the same conditions, what happens to our pause rule? Well, they're gonna conflict because they're using the same conditions and they're being applied to the same thing. And because we want our duplication rule to run before our pause rule, we could edit the selection filter on the pause rule to exclude any ads that contain that copy one in the ad name. But before we do that, we're gonna make one more duplication rule so that an ad is duplicated twice before we pause it forever. First, let's finish setting up our first duplication rule. We can keep the rest of the settings the same and click set live. Now we can duplicate this rule and change its name to duplication two. Then we'll add a selection filter to only include ads that contain dash space copy one in the ad name. With this filter, this automated rule will only duplicate an ad that has been duplicated exactly one time from our previous rule. The last thing we need to do here is update the rules action settings and append comma space two to the duplicate ad text name. When we append comma two here, our newly duplicated ads will now have dash copy one comma two at the end of the ad name. Everything else can again stay the same and we'll click set live. We need to go back to our first duplication rule and edit the selection filters and what the rule applies to. We need to add a filter so it only applies to ads that have never been duplicated yet because this is our first duplication rule. To do that, we'll add a filter for ad name doesn't contain dash space copy. Okay, now click save. And finally, we can go back and edit our pause rule selection filters to only include ads that have copy one comma two in the ad text name. This means it will only pause ads that have been duplicated twice before pausing them forever. Now I know that might seem a little confusing, but we now have a wonderful automated system to get the most life out of every ad. Once an ad goes live, if it ever underperforms, we'll pause it and then duplicate it to give it a second chance in Facebook's learning phase. And if it underperforms again, we'll duplicate it a second time. And if it underperforms for a third time, well, then we can pause it for good. Now let's take a look at how we can automatically manage our ad set budgets in the next lesson.